Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. Peter might have introed already. He had a bunch of theory this morning. Um, we daily vlog, so he likes video. Come back tomorrow. I am making some egg tacos this morning. Super simple, just eggs, salsa, some of that leftover chorizo on corn tortillas. Um, because I have blood work today, like third trimester blood work. I'm officially in my third trimester as of yesterday with our pregnancy with Teddy. I also have my one hour glucose test today. So I am fueling up with some protein before I go. And I'm going to the hospital where I'll be delivering Teddy for the very first time. James, he had a little snooze while I was gone. Um, and yeah, I got nine vials of blood taken. And I just, I really haven't been in a hospital since everything happened with my mom. And it's hard. It's just like the smells and the, I don't know just the feeling of being in a hospital even though it's not the same hospital she was in um i definitely had those feelings before after my dad passed away but i feel like maybe there was just oh god <laughs> a lot more time between my dad being sick and like me being in treatments and a lot of that was done like not at a hospital, like it was at the fertility clinic. And then obviously, gonna have some more crackers. Um, then obviously I had Jamesy, but there just had been so much time. And I know like my heart is heavier this week because the, the 10 year anniversary of my dad passing away is Sunday. Um, and obviously, like, now I'm in a hospital setting much more, like, close in time to when my mom was sick. Yeah, those crackers are really good. Um, so I'm just kind of, I just, like, want to do this. Like, this is filling me up. Oh, gosh, what is that face? You want another cracker? <laughs> Days like today are hard, like physically, obviously, like I did the glucose test. I don't mind it. I've prepped my whole life for a high sugar drink because I drink high sugar drinks all the time. Eat it. And then the blood, like it's, it is physically taxing. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just feeling that extra, that extra heaviness today. Just like the sights and smells and feelings of being in the actual hospital and not just the office, but these two are making me feel better. Ooh, cracker. No, Evie can't have that cracker. Ah! It's not just a plain cracker, it's got, it's got spices on it. It's nice of you to share, but not that. Me and Peter joke around that Peter or that James is not phased by our antics whatsoever. <laughs> he barely even reacts to us when we're being silly. What are you building? So yeah, James is just 
staying in his jammies and we're just having a chill day and if there's anybody else out there who hates hospitals i feel you look at this hair after some yogurt snackage why is it snowing it's still it i'm done with the work which means it is officially the weekend for me i am i have off tomorrow um, nice little three-day weekend, you know. Gonna be so much fun. So many I follow so that their kid like to watch these Marvel ASMR videos. And I think James is into it. Just building some towers. You love it? Yeah. James is working his frustration out because we're all experiencing some serious FOMO because this weekend is Princess Run Disney weekend and we were originally supposed to be down there. I actually have bibs for all three races, yes, but with us not going down, I'm going to run the challenge this weekend. So I'm not going to run the 5k tomorrow, but I'll run the 10k Saturday and the half marathon on Sunday. I've heard of reports of like Run Disney sending you the shirts and medals still if you don't go, but I also don't know if I was supposed to like reach out to them or not. So we'll see. But we have friends down there running, and we've seen photos of the expo and the shirts and the bibs, and it's just you guys know we love Run Disney. All right. Will this ever be straight? I am cooking a plant-based white bean chili for dinner tonight. It is late, it's after seven. It is a faster chili, so it doesn't have to cook for a long, long time, which is great. Um, it does involve like processing it, maybe. I might just use like a hand mixer. We'll see, we're just gonna go with the flow. I do not have, I'm gonna link the the recipe that I'm following in the description it calls for soy curls and I just got like soy crumbles so whatever floats your boat um, we're starting out with a small onion and it goes with some olive oil I had it heating up and then just you know cook until transparent I'm gonna add some salt and pepper well I have some <laughs> bad news on my part I thought a box of soup in my fridge was veggie broth, and it is soup, red pepper soup, so not something I could use instead of that. But I am using, like, the crumbles I use, like the soy crumbles, are, like, seasoned. Like, they're more, like, supposed to be meat, so I'm hopeful with, like, just the liquid and the beans and like using water that I'll still be able to get like the right consistency and flavor as veggie broth. I know I'm capable of spicing things up, but my chili will be different more than it already was with like the change of soy um, than the recipe. So we're gonna hope for the best. That. All right, this is cooking up, and we're gonna add in our canned, our canned goods. You, you got all the peppers. Are you so happy? I had another ingredient mix up. I only had one can of green chilies, so I also put in a yellow pepper. And this is the second night in a row this has happened. I'm feeling nauseous. Like, I used to in the first trimester when I would cook, like, like I'm not hungry. I'm not intrigued to eat this. I don't know. Is third trimester nausea a thing? My Italian heart just couldn't take it. I added crushed tomatoes to the recipe. I took the taste. I honestly think... Because of me not having the veggie broth, it was definitely missing something. 
added some spices, but it just like, I could just tell it's like it was missing tomatoes. So added that in, gonna let it boil for a bit, blend it down before adding in the corn. This is the frozen corn that I got from Trader Joe's. It is like fire roasted. So I'm hoping that brings a little bit more spunk to it too. I brought it to a boil. I'm doing things in a different order. I, if I end up blending it, like using a blender, it's gonna be a task because we have a small kitchen and not a lot of counter space. So I decided to put the corn in before I even like tried to mash it by hand. Um, so I let it go to a boil, put it down to a simmer. I'm gonna let it simmer for like 10 minutes and then come in and like see how I want to blend it. I do have some little pastas cooking, so it'll be kind of like a chili mac. And I think I'm gonna surprise Peter with those like yummy frozen naan that we had at Christina's because he loved those. And I think that'll be good for the side. It's eight o'clock. Our child needs to be getting ready for bed. But, you know, sometimes, <laughs> Sometimes just go with the flow and they're having a good time. I can hear them playing over there. So I think, I think he'll be fine. He'll be tired out for bedtime. Alrighty, here is how it looks. I am just using the hand masher. It's just, that's what's in the cards for today. And so it, I, I did a pretty good job though. Um, it's a lot more creamy, a lot less soupy than the last time you saw it. So where I went roll with seasonings was I added decent amount of coriander. I added some chili powder. Obviously I added a whole can of crushed tomatoes which changed the flavor. I did add more garlic and more salt. I think that's it. I added a little bit of adobo sauce. It, that gets a little bit spicy and I don't want this to be super spicy just because I want to be conscious with Peter running. Um, so I just added in the lime juice, we'll do a final test, and then I'll probably like still top it with salt and pepper. Everything went wrong that could. No. Are we gonna eat? Yes. But the bread I got that I was, I was gonna surprise you. And I was like, this is the bread that Peter loves that Christina made. And this bread, it does, it looks delicious. It looks like divinity. It looks wonderful. It's just not the same. So kind of fitting for all the other hiccups this dinner had, but. It's gonna be delicious, it smells phenomenal here. Here is our chili. We got some jalapenos on top, mm. topped it with lime juice and our little ditalini noodles. And I just went with salt. Oh, and here is that naan. It's really, it's really good. Tomorrow's the beginning of our three day weekend. Mm-hmm. And we have a surprise. Why are we not focused? Autofocus is I in. think it wants, it just wants nothing to do with me. No, but I don't even oh. look focused. That's better. That is better. I passed my glucose test. Yes. We had some like low indicators, but I told Sarah. For like other blood other work. Other stuff. Like the glucose Not is like me. past it. Yeah. I have negative blood, so I'll have my Rogam shot early next week. Um, but yeah, there's some indicators of other blood work. That we'll probably just talk about with the midwife. They're probably, they're really, they're barely out of the range and I'm willing to bet that if, like the range that we were given was for like a standard human, not necessarily a pregnant female. So I'm willing to bet that they're not a concern. Yeah. Just for a little bit of context, I got extra blood work done because my blood pressure, usually in the middle of pregnancy, your blood pressure goes down and then it rises again at the end, back to normal. Well, mine never went down. It's just been normal, which you'd think is great, but they're worried if it goes high again. It'll be too high. It'll be too high, and then you are at a risk for preeclampsia. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. There's that. It was a lax vlog, but we're mm -hmm. getting prepared for a fun weekend. Mm -hmm. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.